What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and today we got to talk about Mortal Kombat 1 because I don't know what it is but for whatever reason NetherRealm Studios is skating around exactly what this game is. And yes Ed Boon did say this is not a continuation of Mortal Kombat 11 but not only is this not a continuation of Mortal Kombat 11 this is not a continuation of Mortal Kombat. This is a hard reboot. And yes Mortal Kombat 9 was a reboot but in that timeline Raiden still remembered events from the previous timeline so he was going through that universe trying to fix things that went wrong to prevent Armageddon from happening in the first place. But in this new universe, you can throw anything you know about Mortal Kombat out the window because it doesn't matter anymore. Now, before we find out what was going on with Mortal Kombat 1, I wanted Onaga to be the big bad man, but I don't even know if I want that no more because I loved Onaga because of his old backstory. Now, we don't know what's going on with Onaga. If you ask me at this point, I want the big bad man to be Shao Kahn because I just hope they don't castrate him. If Shao Kahn is the baddest bad man in fighting game history. You take Hihachi, Devil Jin, Doro from Virtual Fighter, Bison, it don't matter. I think Shao Kahn's knocking everybody down. It looks like they're trying to keep the main threat under wraps right now, but when I look at that last gameplay trailer, it kind of gives me an idea of where we're going. But we'll talk about that in another video. Today, I want to talk about what we do know, and what we do know comes from the character intro dialogue. Now, I saw some of these character intros on Twitter, and a lot of them raised interesting questions, but Gamers Little Playground did a video compiling them all together. Shout out to Gamers Little Playground. I'm going to leave a link to their video in the description. But we're going to check it out and see if we can get to the bottom of what's going on with this story based on what these characters are saying. Hopefully I don't get clipped because I promise I come in peace. But before we do that, it's Mortal Kombat season y'all and this content is going to keep pumping out. So if you want me to keep pumping out Mortal Kombat content, I need you to drop a like on this video to keep my mortal heart beating. I need at least 500. And don't forget to smash that subscribe button so you don't miss the next one. Now let's get to that. Run, run, boy. They coming out. So this is going to be my first time seeing a lot of these. I saw a lot of Sub-Zeros already because, well, that's my guy. And I got to know what's going on with my guy. And it seems like my guy might be a bad guy. So let's get into it and see if we can figure out what's going on. I've learned your secret. Have the others? Is that the Lin Kuei's new tactic? Extortion? <laughs> So that's a very interesting interaction because we find out that Kenshi has secrets that he's keeping from everybody else. But by the way it looks, Kenshi is not going to be a good guy in this game. Or he's a good guy who's actually working with the ops. My ancestors say they've tangled with yours. Has it occurred to you to ask them why? And that further proves it because if Sub-Zero's on the good side, we already saw him pull up with Liu Kang, Raiden and all the other good guys, Scorpion. And when we saw Kenshi first, he got beat up by Johnny Cage and tied to a chair. So it looks like Kenshi might be the wobbler in this game. He might be playing both sides, but we're gonna have to wait and see. Cage Mansion. Keep Countess Jade close. She is critical to your future. Now, a lot of people took this as Jade being confirmed. I don't think this means Jade is confirmed. Jade could be a cameo, to be honest. I don't think she should. I think they should have Melina, Kitana, and Jade in this game if they want to tell that story from Edenia. But um, I don't take this as Jade being confirmed. I don't think they would be that clumsy. But yeah, Liu Kang being cryptic, of course, he knows everything. Will the suffering of the realms ever cease? Those who live in them will decide. Now, you would think these two would have a more interesting interaction, but I'm thinking Liu Kang just kind of really kicked her to the curb. Seems like they don't have any type of love interest anymore. I've been looking forward to this fight. You enjoy losing that much, Earthrealmer? So that was a generic interaction. Katana's body kind of looks weird in this. Just saying. Losing your sight. I can't imagine. If I can't stand one thing, Princess, it's pity. Now that's interesting though. Because Ed Boon said in this game we'd find out how Kenshi goes blind. But we already know how Kenshi goes blind. So it looks like there's gonna be a different story there. 
Nah, I guess the story's different with everybody, though, but... I misjudged you and your comrades. Didn't help you had a snake hissing in your ear. A snake hissing in your ear. Hmm, is that reptile? Hmm. A snake hissing in your ear might be reptile. Ever battle a blind swordsman? You aren't the first Takahashi. Seems like these two are kind of friendly with each other. Man, I can't believe they got Jax's cameo. You made as strong an impression as she did. Oh, uh, sorry, y'all. I was talking and missed it. What did he just say? Strong and Su Chin wants me back. You made as strong an impression as she did. She wants you back. Mmm. If she lets you go, keep it moving, brother. Keep it moving. Your war on the underworld is taking innocent lives. Am I to blame for my enemy's wanton violence? His war on the underworld. So he's beefing with the nether realm? I don't think he wants to do that because Quan Chi will stretch that neck. Kwai Liang says I shouldn't trust the black dragon. In this, as in all timelines, they are scoundrels. Kwai Liang says he should not trust the black dragon. Now, y'all know Bihan is the Sub-Zero we're looking at in this game, obviously. I don't know why y'all ever questioned it. It only makes sense. But he just mentioned Kwai Liang. You know what? I saw Dynasty mention, I don't know who he, um, if he got it from somewhere else, but I saw Dynasty mention that Scorpion might be Kwai Liang, and I think there might be something to that. Scorpion and Sub-Zero are brothers now. Who is Bihan's brother? It's Kwai Liang. But if Scorpion is Kwai Liang, who is Hanzo Asashi? Will we get another form or another version of Scorpion? Now, I don't think it was a coincidence that Scorpion is not in this gameplay demo where they gave you these four characters. Scorpion is like the face of Mortal Kombat. You want to represent Mortal Kombat, you put Scorpion in there. But they left Scorpion off, and I just don't think that's a coincidence. I think Scorpion might have told us too much about him and Sub-Zero's relationship in these back and forths. So I don't know. I think that's a good theory. Scorpion might just be Kuala Yang. Again, I don't know how it happened. We don't know what's going on with this universe. So crazier things are going on. We'll see. Melina has a disease. I mean, come on, y'all. You will not enter the Temple of the Elements. I will have the power you've locked away inside. Shaolin Monk's uh, reference, not Shaolin Monk's, Mythology Sub-Zero reference. That game was, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all never played that? Probably just don't Earth do it. Realm isn't yours to rule. Nor has it ever been, Bihan. Sounds like Bihan wants some power. A lot of these interactions between Bihan and Liu Kang make it sound like Bihan wants some power. So I don't think we're going to end here with Your Bihan has a good guy. Cost lives, Bihan. They were in the Lin Kuei's best interests. Your actions cause lives, so Sub-Zero's doing some things back here that's causing up some mischief. So Sub-Zero might be working with the Ops too. Don't get me wrong now. Your clan used to serve a noble cause. It is better now that we serve ourselves. Hmm. So are we going with the more evil Lin Kuei? I'm not against the evil Lin Kuei. I say let's let's do it. In your sister's shadow wastes your potential. It is my duty and privilege to serve her. Sub Zero showing some love. Maybe he's trying to get Katana in the Lin Kuei. But that's another thing. Serving in your sister's shadow. So Melina's the real one now. Katana's not the princess no more. It's Melina. 
That's all they have for the character intros, but I don't know if that was all of them, because I saw somewhere where they said Sub-Zero was a part of Shang Tsung's experiments. I don't know, maybe I saw it in the trailer, but that's something I can work with. Sub-Zero out here doing experiments with Shang Tsung. But what experiments could Shang Tsung be working on? Well, we saw Melina strapped down to that chair and her face started turning tar cotton. We don't know if Shang Tsung has something to do with it, but it's highly possible. Liu Kang told Sub-Zero your actions cause lives. So for whatever in exchange, Sub-Zero could have helped Shang Tsung with this disease, Shang Tsung spread it to different people, and that's how we get the Tar Cotton Army. But what could Sub Zero want in exchange? Bihan wants power. You could tell by his dialogue with Liu Kang in these character intros. Also, if you look at the trailer, when they get inside Johnny Cage's house, Scorpion bows down to Liu Kang, and Sub Zero looks at him like he's crazy. So maybe in exchange, Shang Tsung runs a different type of experiment on Bihan. The experiment goes wrong. Bihan dies and turns into Noob Saibot. Or maybe when he runs that experiment, it goes right and we get a more powerful Noob Saibot. Now, if that's the case, then I hope Scorpion is not Kwai Liang because we still need a Sub-Zero. Thank y'all for tuning in to this week's speculation. Don't forget to drop a like. Let me know what you think in the comment section and smash that subscribe button on your way out. Bomb Squad. Let's get to that.